November 16th, and Pastor is saying to us, Living by the Spirit. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? It's impossible to live the authentic Christian life without the Holy Spirit. He's the one to guide you, teach you the things of God, and instruct you in the way you should go. At the rapture of the church, the Bible says, In a twinkling of an eye, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, who are alive and remain, shall be caught up with them to meet the Lord in the air. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16-17 to 17. But how is this going to happen? It will be by the power of the Holy Spirit. We are in the last days, and more than ever before, God is calling men to repentance, regardless of the destruction, hatred, killings, murders, wickedness and violence in the world today orchestrated by Satan. The will of God is revealed in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. It says, The Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. However, without the Holy Spirit, they can't live the life that God wants them to live. Living a life that glorifies and honors God is by the power of the Holy Spirit. He alone can bring men to repentance and the acknowledging of the truth about salvation in Christ Jesus. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 8, And when He, the Holy Spirit, is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Living by the Spirit is a way for the child of God. The way of the Spirit is the way of success, victory, and ever-increasing glory. So, don't ignore the Holy Spirit. Yield yourself to His influence and guidance by consciously acting on God's Word. He's the one with the blueprint for your success. He created you and knows everything about your life and future. He's committed to seeing you finish your course gloriously, fulfilling the will of God with joy. Perhaps you're reading this and you haven't received the Holy Spirit. You can receive Him even now. It's very easy. You can have someone who's full of the Spirit lay hands on you and you'll receive. You can also simply ask and receive Him into you by faith, trusting in God. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I yield myself to the influence and guidance of the Holy Spirit at all times. He's my all-time helper, teacher, and guide who continually reveals Christ Jesus to me and through me. He sanctifies my service to the Lord and guides me in a path of righteousness. Amen. For further study, Please read Luke chapter 11, verses 11 to 13, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and Romans chapter 8, verses 1 to 4. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 12, verses 14 to 29, and Ezekiel chapters 13 to 15. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 12, verses 20 to 29, and 1 Chronicles chapter 16. Rhapsody of reality.